Alrighty, so this is section 1.2. It goes over drawings, nets, and other models. We're going to go over three main types of drawings. The first drawing is called isometric drawings. And isometric drawings are drawn on paper like these dots right here. And they can be a little bit tricky to get used to, so practice definitely makes perfect with this. There's a link at the top of my Moodle page that has a link for isometric uh, graph paper. Print yourself some off at home and practice. Uh, you will be quizzed and tested over this, so you need to start uh, getting used to how the paper is. Over here we have a figure of three blocks stacked in a particular way. And I'm going to draw that on my isometric dot paper. As you see, this is hand-drawn. It's not perfect, but I'm going to make it work. And isometric drawings um, are three-dimensional drawings. So that's why the lines here are kind of skewed a little bit. So there's no one way to start these. You just kind of have to find your own way of doing it. But I like to start with drawing my base. And I'm going to give myself some space here. I'm going to do this in red. So if, when I look over here at my picture, I'm going to highlight the parts that I'm drawing. The very first piece I'm going to draw is this right here. Now, as you can see, this is two blocks long. So on my isometric graph paper, I'm also going to make this two dots long. So I'm going to start near the bottom so I have plenty of space to work. So there's one, two blocks. Okay? Alrighty. Now, I'm going to do another easy piece, the linear pieces that are fairly simple to see. I'm going to do this vertical piece, which is also two blocks high. So over here, I notice that this piece connects, so I'm going to make that a marker for myself, and I'm going to connect those other two to that point. Now, it may not look like anything right now, but remember, this figure is going to be looking like it's coming at you. So the next part that I'm going to do is, yet again, another easy part. I'm going to take this other vertical line, which is one unit away and two units high. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to make this one, two units high. All right, I'm going to do one more piece. Let's take a look at this smaller vertical piece right here. This is only one block high, so this is at the last part. It's going to connect that very bottom piece here. So one block high right here. So you really just have to take your time with this. Now, the next easier pieces I see are the pieces that are horizontal. It's all the other pieces of this that make it a little bit harder. So let's take this. I'm going to do this in blue. And you are welcome to use colored pencils on your isometric uh, drawings as well. So here's another piece right here. Now this is going parallel to this bottom piece that I already drew. And it's one block high, two blocks long. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to find that line that's going to be parallel. I'm going to draw it just like this. I'm going to find another horizontal line here, which is this guy. Oops, that doesn't look right. Try it again. Oh, my pen doesn't want to work for me. All right. So I'm going to go up to the top here. It's going to connect with these two ends of those red lines. So over here in my graph paper, there's that blue line. All right. Now from here, it's really just a matter of what you see. Now the next couple pieces I see, look over here at my figure, at the very, very top, I see this piece, and this piece, and this piece. So how do I go about doing that? Well, follow the trace marks that you just made. From this point right here, I go up and to the right. It's almost like an angle. So I see that point right here, and I'm going to go ahead and connect it on my paper. So right there. Now the next piece that I did came down and to the right. So I'm going to do that right here. And the very last piece connects this so that it makes the top of those blocks. And you can you hopefully you can start seeing this come to life. Now another of the easier pieces that I see, now that I know how these are working, I'm going to look right here in the very center where the blocks meet. I'm going to look at this piece and I'm going to look at this piece. So when I look here, all three of these lines are parallel to each other. And they're all going in an upward to the right motion. So I'm going to try that right here and right here. And I bet you I could do that again with this very bottom piece. Look over here at the figure. 
there's this very bottom piece right here. It's going to connect to that red dot to make the base. Now the rest of this should be fairly simple. It's just a matter of connecting all the pieces. So look over here at my figure. I'm going to do this part right here in purple. That's going to connect these two green spots. Then I'm going to connect these two green bars here. So right here. And then I'm going to connect these two green bars right here. And when you're done, you should have a figure that looks identical to the figure that you have drawn. And I, this might look easy, because I've done this a million times, but take your time and keep your patience with you. Now, another kind of drawing that we have, I'm going to erase this. Another kind of drawing that we have is called an orthographic drawing. And orthographic drawings are another kind of model for 3D figures. Orthographic drawing. Okay. So what an orthographic do drawing does is it shows this figure from three particular views. It's going to ask for a top view. In other words, if I were to pick this figure up and look at it straight down, what would I see? There's a top view, there's a front view, and there is a right-hand view, or a left-hand view, however you want to look at it. It doesn't matter. As long as you get a view from the side, you're going to be good. So, when I start this off, I'm going to use green here. When I look at this figure from the top, you kind of have to take this figure mentally off of the paper and hold it in your hand like blocks. And if you were to look at it straight down, all I would see, I'm going to draw this right here, I would see the very top piece, I'm going to shade it in green over here, I would see this, and then I would see the top of this piece. So, in essence, this is my top view, and that's it. So that's the first part of my orthographic drawing. The front view I'm going to do in red. So I'm going to take a look at this and hold it right up to my eyes and see what I see. So I know I'm going to see this block right here. It's kind of poking up out of nowhere. And I'm also going to see this block down here, and they're going to be stacked right on top of each other when I look directly at them. So my front view is going to be identical to my top view. And the last view, the right-hand view, this is typically the easier one. I'm going to do this in purple. It's all the parts that you would see is if you took a look at the side with the most blocks. So I would see this one, and this one, and this one right here. So I'm going to draw that out. There's the two blocks that are stacked on top of each other, and then the block coming out. And that's all you need for an orthographic drawing. And then we have one more kind of drawing, and they erase this, which is called a foundation drawing. And a foundation drawing is very simply a layout of how many blocks take up each space. So the last kind that we're going to take a look at here is foundation drawing. All right, I'm going to erase this little stray mark. All right. So, in order to do a foundation drawing, we're going to show the base of this structure. So, once again, I'm going to take my top drawing from my orthographic drawing, which was just two blocks high, just like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write numbers inside these blocks. I'm going to tell whoever's looking at this how many blocks are stacked in that particular area. So when I look he over here at this tower, just this particular part, I have one, two blocks stacked on top of each other. So over here, I'm going to mark a two inside this part. And then the other place that we have is this right here. And this is only one block high, so over here, I'm going to write the number one. And this simply tells you how many blocks are stacked in each particular place. And that's all a foundation drawing is. So there's the three kind of drawings that we're going to take a look at. Isometric, orthographic, and foundation.